Happy Thursday, Flosstube. Hello, crafty friends. It is Thursday, June 18th. My name is Caroline. Welcome back. I have just, a, today, I, I just know today is going to be short. And I know I'm saying that right up front. And usually when I say that, the timestamp says something ridiculous like, you know, you think it's going to be two minutes and it's 20 minutes later. Um, but I literally, the only crafting that I did yesterday that wasn't um, working on sewing bags and was I put my frame, sorry, my scroll rods, um, I attached my fabric, my fabric to my scroll rods for my Lindy Stitches Emily's house piece. I didn't even put another stitch in. Uh, yes, my thread, I pulled it up there to take my needle off and I just, I haven't gotten back to it. So I, you know, <sighs> scroll rods, I, all I do is I pin the fabric in place and then baste it on that uh, webbing that's on the scroll rod, that's all. And those wrinkles will work themselves out. And I'll iron it again once it's done. Easy peasy. So yeah, that was the only personal crafting that I have done. It was just one of those nights where I sat in my chair last night and I was just, I was just tired. And that's, that's not, usual for me normally I really don't like to just sit still while we're watching TV or you know before bed I usually like to do a little bit of something so you guessed it I've got my sock in my hands and I thought I could at least put in a few stitches so this has been renamed by a viewer and I wish if it was you that originally called this the fruity pebble socks could you just message me again in the comments? Just leave me another comment below. Hey, that was me. Because <laughs> I can't think of them any other way now because it's so fun. Fruity Pebbles Sock from Leo and Roxy. And I'm just doing a plain vanilla. Uh, it's my super simple sock pattern written and uh, published by my friend Louise Patterson, Wildflower Wool. Love, that's my favorite pattern. It's my go-to. The socks fit well. They're easy. I, the pattern is memorized. I don't have to, I don't have to think about it anymore. So, okay. Um, so yeah, attaching the fabric to my scroll rods. <laughs> that was it. However, the other thing that I have to chat about with you today is about a little bit about Stitch North and a little bit about the, I am participating in my very first smalls exchange. I've never done one. And I've, I've talked a little bit about this probably last year before the New Jersey Floss Tube Retreat. I don't usually participate in smalls exchanges, not because I don't like them, but because I'm always underconfident of my finishing skills. But I thought, since I'm hosting this retreat, and it, I've always wanted to, I thought, okay, now's the time to push yourself out of your comfort zone and, uh, and participate. So, um, I have my partner's name. The way this is working, if you are a member of the Stitch North Facebook group and you have signed up to do the retreat, the, sorry, excuse me, you've signed up to do the exchange, the smalls exchange. This is being organized and completely run exceedingly well by my friend Sylvia Perez Hardy. And another huge public thank you to Sylvia for organizing and running this smalls exchange because it is, uh, it is no small task. It's a big, big job. And she's doing, she's doing amazingly well, keeping all those balls in the air. So I think we have 46 people participating in this exchange. And the way that it works is that we were given the name of someone to gift to, and then someone else received our name. So I am not partners. I'm partners basically with two people. One person I'm making for and the other person makes for me. And so I know um, basically, which works out because you're kind of ending up meeting two new stitchy friends instead of just one. So that's kind of cool. So I know my partner's name and uh, I'm just going to say it here in case she watches this uh, channel. Her name is Kimberly H. Kimberly H. Um, 
hi. I'm not gonna say your last name because I don't have your permission to say that, but Kimberly H., if you're participating in the Stitch North Smalls Exchange and I've already sent you an email, I've gotten an email back from you, I'm going to be talking about what I'm going to be making for you in this video. So if you could do me a favor and just turn this video off right now, move on to another floss tube video because I would really like to be able to, to discuss my process of making this this um, gift as I go along with it. And the only way I can do that and keep it a secret from Kimberly is if she doesn't watch. So anytime I'm gonna talk about it, I'm gonna mention that up front. So you're probably all gonna know Kimberly quite well by the time we're done. And once I have her permission to share her name, then, then I will, because I believe she also has a floss tube channel of her own. Okay, so I know a few things about Kimberly now. And so I, I thought about the perfect thing to make for her. So again, once again, Kimberly, now's the time to say goodbye and turn off the video. So Kimberly says that she loves to read and she loves the color green and she loves Christmas and she drinks tea instead of, and she prefers tea over coffee. Um, and I think there were one or two other things, but I honed in on the um, books, reading, and the green. So that reminded me of a pattern that I'd seen on Instagram on the feed of X Stitch, X -Stitch MD, uh, Shiloh, out in Nova Scotia. And Shiloh had posted a, a few patterns in her stories feed. And so of course, you know, after 48 hours, those things are gone. I knew I'd seen it there. I couldn't remember what it was. So I messaged Shiloh this morning and I said, do you have any idea? Do you remember what that chart was that had something to do about reading past your bedtime and what was it and where can I find it? Well, Shiloh came through and she sent me a link to the pattern and it is exactly what I want to stitch for Kimberly. So this is the pattern right here. I read past my bedtime. Isn't that awesome? I just think that is perfect. And so once again, that is a Stitch Rovia pattern and you can find it on Etsy. And don't you think that that would lead, lend very easily to being swapped out to greens instead of blues? I do. And then I can find a fabric to match, a few fabrics to match, and I can turn it into a small project bag because not only can she use it as a project bag, but she could use it as, a, as an iPad holder or Kindle holder or a book holder, anything like that. And the small size is, you know, it's versatile enough that if she doesn't like to use project bags, she can use it for something else. So. That's, that's what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna stitch this in shades of green and I know that I have a few green prints. So I actually might find, I might find the project bag fabric first and then match some green flosses to the fabric so that I know it will match together. And then I need to find, I think I'm probably going to, well, uh, it'll depend on the, what tones are in the main fabric as to what linen or Ada or um, even weave that I choose. I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick the green fabric for the bag first and then choose the fabric for the stitching part. And then I'll choose the green, the shades of green floss for the chart. How fun is that? So since we are, we are supposed to mail out our exchanges by September 1st um, so that everybody kind of gets, will hopefully get their exchange at around the same time and then uh, we can all open and, and share them together. So I'm, I'm really excited, I'm excited. I'm excited to stitch this and I'm excited to get to know a little bit more about the woman who's making a small for me. And again, I don't have her permission to share her name. So um, once I do, and if she says I can, then I will share eventually in the future, I'll share what she uh, makes for me. So that's exciting. That is very exciting. So yeah, Stitch Rovia. Okay, and a huge thanks again to Shiloh for helping me out and my memory, my terrible memory 
with uh, with what that pattern was. And that's it. The only other thing to briefly mention today is again, once again, about the Stitch North retreat. I am I am I have had a few emails back and forth now with the um, coordinating uh, manager of the, uh, the the banquet hall conference center, and we are going back and forth trying to finalize the date. So um, by tomorrow. Monday at the latest, I will have the actual date of the spring 2021 off the grid Stitch North cross stitch retreat that is happening in Brampton, Ontario. And I think, uh, yeah, so I'll have the date to announce to you either tomorrow or then Monday. So then if you've been kind of waiting around to cancel because you're not sure of the dates, then you can do so, at, you are welcome to do so at that point. Or if you would like to purchase a registration because that date will work for you, then there are still some registrations available up on the um, my shop page, www.evertote.com. And uh, there's a link to that. There's all that information is in the drop down box below about where you can find me and, and all of that kind of stuff. So I think that's it. So I will see you tomorrow for uh, Friday. Focus on a designer. And uh, I'll see you then. Until then, take care. Happy stitching. <laughs>